Hello, welcome to Working the Code. Today I'll be going over the blockchain project on my GitHub account. You'll be able to find the GitHub link in the description down below, or if you already have it and you're coming from it, then welcome. So let's begin with opening up a Chrome tab and visiting my GitHub account. In the GitHub account, you will find the blockchain project under my profile. Here, you will find the readme file with instructions on how to run the code yourself and how to download and run the uh, application yourself on your computer. However, I'll go and run you step by step on how to do this. Let's copy over the link to be able to clone the repository onto your desktop or any directory that you wish. Let's open up a new terminal. Let's make this a little bigger so you guys can see. And let's go over to the desktop and we're going to create a new directory called, I don't know, crypto test. Okay. Let's go in over to this new directory that we created and we're going to run a get clone right there. Okay. Now, once this get clone is done, it should take about a minute. It shouldn't take too long and complete. Okay. So let's clear the window. And if we list it, you're going to find the blockchain project, hopefully. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, the issue with cloning this is that uh, we won't have all the node packages that we need. Uh, I mean, all the node modules. So we're going to have to run NPM run. Uh, I'm sorry, NPM uh, install. And once we run NPM install, this is going to download all of the dependencies that we need to be able to run the project. Okay, so let's clear the window one more time. And to be able to run uh, the client for the first time or the server on your computer, we're gonna run npm run dev. So once this is done, okay, it's gonna be listening in at localhost 3000. Okay, um, sometimes this uh, version uh, kind of reboots itself every once in a while. So just be patient. Let's open up the Chrome tab again and go to localhost 3000 and here we'll find the application and in the application you see the blocks and you see conduct transactions let's um let's run another node right so let's open up a new window let's clear this and go back to that same place where i cloned my repository okay and we're gonna run the same script called npm run dev dash peer and here what this does is that it creates another node in the transaction in the in the blockchain okay so once we do that we're gonna localhost 3348 everybody generates a different node okay so as we see there everything restarted very briefly and it's listening in on node 3715 now. Sometimes it does this at first when it first loads in. Thirty-seven fifteen, and then localhost 3715 will find that it has a completely different, uh, complete different uh, address. And basically what address stands for is the public address of the wallet or the node itself. Here we'll be able to see the balance. So let's conduct a transaction from the main node of localhost 3000. In localhost 3000, here let's send the transaction over to full, oops, so full, and a substantial amount of 200. Okay, we conducted the transaction. Okay, let's see if 3715 has it in the transaction pool. Oh, look at that, it does. We can mine the transaction and we have all of the current nodes in the blockchain listening in on the transaction pool. So let's add another transaction. Let's add it to full brother. And we're gonna add a substantial amount of 600. This guy's a baller. We submit the transaction and now we have two transactions in the transaction pool. Let's actually mine it from this node. We're gonna mine the transaction, and as you can see, it was successful. Okay, so now it redirects us to the blocks page. We're gonna show more, and here we're able to see the transaction 
data itself within the block. It was sent to foo of 200 and another one from a different address was to foo brother of amount of 600. This one right here on the bottom is the uh, the the current balance that the wallet has. That is the remaining uh, balance that the wallet has. As you can see here in the localhost 3000 tab or that node, we're able to see the block itself and it also reloaded. We have here the transaction reward uh, to 0423, which is the second node right here. Let's see, transaction reward 0423. And as you can see, we got that reward. I really hope you guys enjoy. This was a, a really good project. And uh, if you do decide to run it yourself, um, you know, I hope you learn from it. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me or comment down below. Okay. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. Bye-bye.